The quotient rule is one of the most common rules used for taking derivatives, but it's also one that students frequently make mistakes with. I'm Mark from ACE Tutors, and I'm here to show you how to never go wrong when using the quotient rule. Okay, first, let's go over when you have to use the quotient rule. Just as the name suggests, you have to use the quotient rule whenever you are taking the derivative of an equation that is the quotient of two functions aka it has one function divided by another function. This can be written symbolically as f of x divided by g of x, as seen here. This may be a bit confusing, so here are some examples of equations where you would have to use the quotient rule to find their derivatives. You can see that in each of these cases there is one function being divided by another function. Okay, so what is the quotient rule? In class or in your textbook, you may have seen the quotient rule written like this, where the derivative is the bottom function times the derivative of the top function minus the top function times the derivative of the bottom function all over the bottom function squared. Whew. That's hard enough to say, let alone memorize, understand, and use. Instead, I like to rewrite the equation like this, where high is the function that is on top or higher and low is the function that is on the bottom or lower. With this, we can then rewrite the quotient rule in a way that is much easier to remember. This is read as low d high minus high d low all over low squared, where d high means the derivative of the high function and d low means the derivative of the low function. Now if you watched our video on the product rule, you might remember that I mentioned that we could write that rule in several different ways because order doesn't matter with addition. However, with the quotient rule, order does matter because the top has subtraction in it, so you have to be careful. But if you remember that the phrase starts with low, the rest will always follow. Low d high minus high d low all over low squared. Okay, now let's do some examples. Let's use one of the equations we saw before. Say we have y equals 2x squared plus 3x divided by 5x plus 2. In this case, our high is 2x squared plus 3x, and our low is 5x plus 2. Taking the derivative of each of these separately, the power rule tells us that d high is 4x plus 3, and d low is 5. We can then plug these into our quotient rule formula to get that the overall derivative is y prime equals 5x plus 2 times 4x plus 3 minus 2x squared plus 3x times 5 all over 5x plus 2 squared. Alright, let's look at one more example. Say we have y equals 4x plus 7 divided by sine of x. Once again, our high is 4x plus 7, and our low is sine of x. Again, using the power rule, we find that d high is equal to 4. Then with our trig derivatives, we know that d low is equal to cosine of x. Combining each of these parts, we get that y prime is equal to sine of x times 4 minus 4x plus 7 times cosine of x all over sine of x squared. With a little more practice, you'll have the quotient rule mastered in no time. Just remember, low d high minus high d low all over low squared. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams. Don't let a class get in the way.